Welcome back everybody to 7 Days to Die on Alpha 20. I'm an old guy gaming and in this episode we're going to probably hit another quest. Um, our mid midterm goal, we'll say, um, is that we want to move to uh, either into or at least very close to the snow biome. Now, I never, I didn't get close enough to the snow biome, uh, or rather to the city to uncover on the map, but I don't know if you guys remember in yesterday's episode when we were up on this road, somewhere right up in this area, we saw a town, but I just didn't make it that far. Um, so our goals in order to do that are to get warm weather clothing. So we're going to need a puffer coat and, you know, maybe some of those insulated liner mods. Uh, and we're also working towards the mini bikes. So we are, uh, we have a little bit of a, of Grim Reaper. We got to get rid of first because we, <laughs> we bit the dust uh, in the last episode. Um, and, but then, uh, I think we're getting pretty close to the next point. I can, actually, I can't remember cause it doesn't show you that with the Grim Reaper, but we are focusing currently on intellect. We have an effective level four because we have nerdy glasses now, and that's going to then allow us to take uh, level two in a grease monkey in order to then make ourselves a mini bike. Uh, we're also going to be gunning for physician here so that we can make a a chemistry station and also craft first aid bandages. So those are kind of our short to mid term goals. All right. So anyway, it is uh, too a little bit early for us to go see the trader. I thought I had grabbed a quest from him. In fact, I could have sworn I grabbed a quest from him. We uh, we did. Okay. It's just I don't I just didn't have an act uh, activated. So yeah, uh, let's go ahead and do that now. Uh, we're doing really good on food and water. In fact, before we take off. Let's just top off our food and water. As long as we're questing in town here, um, I'm not taking any food and water with me in my inventory uh, because, you know, we can just come back to the base and eat it. So, yeah, we got five bacon and eggs, 20 boiled meat, a bunch of canned food, and still have a lot of extra meat left over. We had a really good day yesterday in terms of hunting. Uh, so let's actually take a cornbread because uh, we just need a little bit to top us off here. And then we're going to throw back a red tea. I'm going to have to go pick some more chrysanthemum. Um, and that'll, you know, give us that boost to our, our efficient digestion. And we should be good to go on there. Uh, we only have one bandage. So that's that's why I really want to kind of get that, um, you know, that uh, first aid one, you know, in the intellect tree. I can't remember what it's called. Going so that we can, you know, start making bandages and not worry about it anymore. But we have the one, so... Hopefully we won't need it uh, for today. Okay, let's go check out this next quest. Oh, you know what? There's a wolf outside too. Not sure exactly where it is, but if the opportunity presents itself, we will take it out. Um, but anyway, let's go check this quest out. Uh, like I mentioned, uh, I believe in yesterday's episode, if this is one that we've already done, uh, I'm just going to speed run it. But if it's a new one, then we'll we'll do it normally. Uh, and I just, I don't know. I, I haven't played it long enough to know what the difference is between filler 24 and filler 25, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, it is over here on the left, so that could be a new one. I'm not sure. At some point, you know, maybe before we permanently leave this town, we should maybe just, even if we don't have quests for it, randomly hit some of these other places, particularly like the tool stores and stuff like that that might have some good stuff in it for us. Okay, I think this is new. I don't think we've done this one before. Or have we? No, I don't think we have. I don't think we have. Okay, hey, while we're here, let's just run over to the donut shop really quick and grab some more canned food because we can. I never did make it back into the this POI to finish looting it. In fact, did I grab everything out of here? I did, okay. Um, so at some point, these are two, a couple things I want to sell to some point. I'd like to go back in there before it repops and get some of the resources that are in there. Um, yeah, let's grab a jailbreakers. I don't really, we don't really need a jailbreakers because, you know, I can make lock picks now. And if we break a few, we break a few. They're not that expensive, but yeah, we'll grab it anyway. What the hell? Okay, let's uh, put all of this stuff in here. We'll take the jailbreakers with us. I'm gonna I'm gonna take the lockpicks with us too, just because 
I keep saying, well, I'll come back later, but you know, with the way these POIs are, they're not so easy to get in and out of. So I think we're just going to take that with us. Um, we don't need the shovel and the wrench though. If there's something in there that I want to wrench that I definitely will come back for it. Okay. So I think we are in good shape on that stuff. I have some repair kits because some of my stuff is starting to get worn out here. And so this is a retrieve the supplies. That was odd that the question mark was down in the thing there. Oh, this all got boarded back up too. How interesting. I guess Zombos must have broken through it at some point. So yeah, these, um, you know, the way everything works now is that, you know, it's multiple shops, I guess, if you will. Oh, you know what? We might be able to find a puffer coat in here. This looks like a clothing store. Okay, cool. So let's uh, let's look for that puffer coat. Anything that's going to help us with um, cold resist. None of those are going to help, but I would like the dyes off of these. Okay, so we'll scrap all this. Puffer coat and the skull cap mod would be really good. Um, neither one of those are going to help us with... I don't like the brown dye. Uh, with cold, so... See, this will sell for 55. That sells for 8. So we'll sell this. We'll scrap the other. Well, we're going to get a lot of dye out of here, aren't we? These sell for 44. Yeah, I guess we could hang on to those and sell them. Clothes pile on the floor. Okay. We got two zombos. They're both derping out here. Let's see if we can get a double. Alright, that takes care of them. This is good for cold resist, actually. So that we're going to keep. Um, we might even keep the green on it, too. So right now, this gives 14 cold resist. That's actually not bad. But this gives... Oh, only 13. Okay, so our puffer coat is... I mean, I'm sorry, our duster is still better than this. All right, that being the case, then... I figured the sweatshirt would be a little bit better than the duster, but apparently it isn't. Okay, we'll scrap that. Little cashola there. Okay, these are sweatshirts. Those could be good shirts. We got the attention of a Zeke, but the Zeke's outside. Okay, this has... 10.7 cold resists. This is 9 cold resists. So we definitely don't want that one. Uh, let's just... Uh, those numbers always confuse me. So 8.4 cold resist. 9.4 cold resist. 10.7. So this sweatshirt is definitely the one we want. Okay. Let's make it green, though. Because why not? Okay. Are we styling? We're styling. Awesome. Okay. Now, um, of these two BDUs, I would prefer one with better heat resist. So 7.1 and 8. Okay, so this one we're just going to scrap. Gotcha. Okay. I still would prefer a puffer coat, though. I know some of you guys are thinking you should leave the die on to save inventory space, but I'm going to um, I'm going to put a drop chest down. The reason I'm not doing that is just because if I don't, I'll, I might get confused later and end up selling it without before I take the die off. So yeah, reasons. Okay, so I guess that's it for this. Here, oh here we go. So we're definitely getting the attention of some outside Zikaroos. Let's go in here. Whoa, shit, she scared me. Okay. 
We got a Savage Country box here. Okay, that's decent stuff. What are we wearing for armor here? Is this one any better? They're exactly the same. Okay, so we'll just fix that one up and sell it. dead. Stupid AI. They should be running around the front to get us, but they're they're just not that smart. Okay. Oh, maybe we could get him to come over to this these bars here. Come over here, dummies. Easy kills. Are they coming over here? All right, here, let's just pop up here then. Oh no, Don, ah, I put my uh, crossbow bolts back. Um, you know, using that damn button that always screws me up. Man, that guy's a tough son of a bitch. Dude, just die, please. There. Okay. Yeah, so there's lots of cobblestone that we can come out here later and get. Open up that door. Did we get this reloaded? Yes, we did. In fact, is everything reloaded except for my crossbow? That sucks. I've been really enjoying this crossbow lately. Go down and stay down. All right. That's pretty good loot. All right, we're four things encumbered. Oh my God, that sounds like, a oh shit. That sounded like more than, yeah, there was more than two zombies there. Okay. Whew. Okay, so this brings us right out back towards the bike. I think I'm going to break this just so I can um, drop off some stuff. So let's do that. Oh, looks like I have an abrasion too. That's wonderful. Okay, let's loot this uh, room real quick here. All right, moving right along. Upstairs we go. Okay. Hopefully that's a 
all for this little area that we got to worry about. We'll loot the kitchen. Might be somebody in there. Uh, oh, we can't put a crossbow bolt. I guess we have a silenced pistol, though. All right, nobody in there. This one, somebody already jumped out at us. One of those Zeeks. Oh, nice. We have a wall safe. Okay. Okay, well, hmm. Should I come back for this or... Yeah, let's let's come back for this so I can take a safe cracker and have it apply uh, to both. Big mama. Big mama. Haven't you learned yet that we don't want to see your underwear? You tough, big mama. You should be for 825 points. Okay, we got some books here. And a medical pile. Give me a bandage. All right. I'll take that, too, because pretty soon we're going to be able to start using it to make bandages. Did we go in here already? Yeah, this is the room with the safe. Okay, we got to remember to come back there. Uh, no clothes in the washing machines or dryers. I think I just heard some wings flapping. So we'll have to use our silence pistol for them, guys. Or not. Okay, I hear a buzzard and just one guy? Oh, two buzzards. Okay, I don't want them guys to tag me. Come on, buzzards. How in the hell did that not kill him? <laughs> Point blank range with a shotgun. Goodness gracious. All right, whatever. It probably wasn't. I was probably off, but when it happens that fast like that, it, it seems like, you know, it was point blank range. All right, what else is out here? Not seeing anything else out here. Oh! Oh, okay. I don't really want to fall down there. I'm not going to lie. I know, I got to go back and get my satchel too. I just realized I left it behind. Let's just see what's up here first though. Couple bird's nests. There's a ladder. There we go. Come on, give me a bandage. Not that kind of bandage. Okay, so this goes down to a balcony. I'd rather go this way than drop through the ceiling, because that's just never safe. dead right yeah okay I'm not seeing anything in here that 
door is locked open. Check these cupboards here. We got a yucca. That's always good. And a bone. Uh, sure. Why the hell not? We got a drop chest outside. We'll take it. Is this breakable? Not really. Okay, that's all we get out of here. Time to go in this room. We got a big boy. Alright, we're gonna give big boy some shotgun action. Well, let's close that door. Okay. We have two Zeeks. They're normals, though. Alright, there's another safe. Good. I'm glad we waited, because then we can use our safe crackers on both. Alright, we'll sell that. A little more paper action. There's some brass in here and some chairs that I can come in later and get. We came through here, right? Yeah, there's the safe. Uh, go down this way. Okay. Just double checking again, make sure we're all loaded. There's usually that point in these POIs where you get a kind of a final rush of a bunch of zombos. And that's probably about to happen. Maybe even from this office area here. Case in point. Okay. I'm gonna actually... This is kind of a hard spot to fight these guys. We do this temporarily. Hmm, they might be able to go through that door. Uh, I don't know. Let's just see. If they do, we'll run up the ladder and deal with them. All right, let's do this. You know, since we have so many, I think we're going to do this too. I'm trying to get headshots here as best as I can. With the spider's dangerous too, so we want to eliminate him. Okay, he's dead. Now we just got fatty. Am I even hitting him? I don't think I am. Oh, he's already busted a hole up here. Uh, can we jump up on this rail here? Okay. There we go. Okay, that worked out. We still haven't found the supplies yet. Okay, so this is where we got rushed. What is this, like a call center or something? It says the supplies are on the other side of that wall. Got to remember to take apart that, that guy for, um, what the hell? Must have stepped on something on the floor. All right, let's open up the boxes. We'll get the fat loots first, and then we'll go get the satchel. So we know of two safes. Oh. There's... Is there more area here? No. Okay. Check here. Oh, here we go. All right, that just gets us back outside. Gotcha. Okay, from the key on the door. I got to remember to watch for those because I'm not used to them. Nice. Two mineral waters. Let's just loot this other stuff, and then we'll go back and get the fat loots. I'm, like, really encumbered, so that was actually good that the door opened up for us. Lots of computers I can take apart here, which is good. Okay, let's check the weapons bag. Got some bullets. Oh, we got a, another thing here, too.
Vitamins. That must open that door. Okay. Oh, ammo. Nice. Very nice. How did I miss that? Oh, I guess we didn't come down from up above. That's how. Okay. Check these sinks really quick. Working stiff. Okay, decent stuff. This is a uh, more power. Flying on. Okay, craft the stun repulsor mod. Okay, probably. I bit. I tried out the, stu uh, the zapper stun baton thing in the multiplayer, and it's just not doing anything for me. There, nice some ammo. Come on, bandages. Nope, but I will take that stuff. Okay, before we do the locked chest. Since I'm super encumbered here, I'm going to run down, drop everything else off. And then we have the lock chest and two safes that we want to try and do uh, with our safe cracker. So let's get this stuff dropped off first so I can move. Okay, let's pop our safe cracker. Open up the fat loots. Oh, there's our bandage. Yeah, we got some pipe bombs. It's okay. Not the best stuff in the world, but it's okay. All right, now we have two more, two wall safes that we need to do. One of them is in here. Nice. Very, very nice. Um, you know, I'm not using the sledgehammer constantly, except for like on Horde Night. So I'd, I'd like to get this back on there, you know, once we can get one with another mod slot. But I think I'd rather have the weighted head mod at the moment. Okay, let's backtrack to find that other uh, safe. And then we have to get the satchel. Were we even in this room here? I think we were. Hmm. This might be where the satchel is, but here we're on the clock here with this safe cracker, so I want to get the other safe first. Don't remember exactly where it was now. Oh yeah, that's th this is the room. Okay. It looked kind of familiar, but I wasn't sure. All right, where the hell did we see that other safe? It was in here, right? Yeah, there we go. Lucky looter, find more lead and loot. Okay, well, we're getting some silver to sell. That's always good. All right, let's get this satchel. So it shows over in this area, 3.8 meters that way. I'm just going to break through the wall. Guess we could have gone around. <laughs> uh, is it up here? Yep, there it is. Okay, quest is done. All right, so there's a few more things here I can come back. You know, there's some some brass, some cloth. We got a bunch of leather in here that we could, you know, get. But uh, let's go back to the trader and do the turn-in and then decide if I'm going to do another quest. Okay, let's check the vending machine as usual. Uh, we'll take the tuna, the smoothies, <coughs> lamb rations. I don't think I'm going to use jailbreakers moving forward. Because, uh, again, we just have tons of lockpicks now, so we don't need it. It's useful, but not necessary. What can I get you to gratitude? Very nice. This is a really nice, very nice thing to get. I mean, I wouldn't have mind having those either, but we're going to be able to make our own bandages soon. So, yeah, beautiful. Okay, cool. And I was even thinking about buying, uh, I think, the schematic. Was it the last episode? So I'm glad that I didn't. Something like that. Okay. Uh, let's take a look at your inventory. We want to sell you this, and this, and this, and this, and this. That's probably not even worth selling. And all of the silver. Okay, good. So that gets us up to 9,281 coin. I don't remember if we've actually checked his inventory. Oh, we have. That's right. He's the one that has the 1,600 mini bike. should we decide to buy it. Right, okay. Um, 
I'm just looking to see what else he has. I think we've already checked him though. So, okay, good. Thanks for shopping All right, here. let's take a Come job. Uh, so we basically have fetch and clears and clears zombies and fetch. Ooh, this one's really close. I'm in a little predicament. It's the church that we've already done. Um, yeah, you know what? Let, let's do this. I'm just going to do a quick speed run for you guys. Um, Brilliant. Because we've already done it, we'll just I'll just speed run run for you, so that way we have a little bit more tacked on to the end of the episode here. I'll meet you guys at the church. I am actually gonna stop off at the house and get some food, so uh, I'll I'll be be at the church there in a second. All right, guys, I am back. Um, I went ahead and actually made myself a new sledge hammer. I'm able to make a green level iron sledgehammer. Uh, so I went ahead and made one of those. It's approximately four points or so better than the orange one I had, but more importantly, it has um, two slots. So now we can put the weighted head mod and the ergonomic mod on it. All right, so before we get started uh, with the, the church quest, I'm going to actually take these cars apart um, because then, you know, once we do the quest, it'll reset them and then I'll, I'll have them again. So let me do that first and then we'll get started with the quest here. All right, let's do this. So uh, again, I've done this one on camera already. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and actually, you know what? I think I did this on a live stream. I don't know if I've done it on an action as a let's play. I can't remember, uh, but I know I've done it either one way or the other. So uh, we're just going to go through it in uh, speed mode. Uh, so we'll, I'll put some music on, do a little montage and uh, yeah, get through it pretty quickly. Okay. Hope, hope you guys enjoy the montage. <coughs> Man, there's nothing wrong with my throat. All right. See you on the other side.
All right, guys, we got through it. Man, that was rough. <laughs> It's a rough run, uh, but we managed to get through it. We do have an infection, but we'll sh we can take care of that when we get back to the base. So let's see what our fat loots are. All right, not too bad. There we go. Give us something good, weapons bag. Uh, that's not that great. Okay, so this will be uh, increases fire rate of robotic weapons, okay? We'll take that. Uh, none of that stuff is lootable, and let's unlock the chest. Very nice. Got it on the first try. Okay. That's uh, pretty good stuff overall. What are we wearing for chest? We're already wearing a purple. Is this one any better? Nope. It's exactly the same. All right. Let's open this door and get the hell out of here. I'll see you guys over at the Trader for the turning. Yes. Hmm. Okay. We already have a steel pickaxe. Otherwise, this would have been a nice one. Uh, four ninety eight for selling, so we'll take it just because it's the most valuable. All right, um, let's go look at your inventory. We will sell this to you and the boots. We found a puffer coat in the church, which is amazing. Now we don't need this, we don't need that or that, and of course we will sell all the cash to him and the pick. And I think that's it. Okay, so that gets us up to twenty seven forty six plus the coin that I already have in the bike, which is Thank you, Survivor. somewhere around Check nine thousand, I think. I get new merchandise daily. Okay, let's see. Fetch and clear. What's Can this? You help me with my House problem? old bungalow eleven. Yeah, sure. Why not? No we'll matter do that what, I'm grateful. For everything. All right, you guys. Well, that is it for this episode. How close are we to the next level? Um, oh, we got the next level. Okay, so we're gonna put, throw that into physician, so I can start making bandages. And then the next two levels will go into Grease Monkey uh, so that we can get the mini bike master. And once we make the mini bike now, and especially now that we have the puffer coat, um, we are going to start thinking seriously about moving to the snow biome or at least near the snow biome so we can get into the better loop. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. And stay down, Steve. <laughs>